Hello and welcome along to another lesson with Mr Burns. In this lesson, we are going to generalise this simple equation which takes the form ax equals b, where a and b are members of the real, the real numbers. We are going to change the subject to x to have it on its own. And by to do this, we are going to apply inverse operations. So we recap of a question you may have seen already. Two x equals to ten. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side at the minute. It's an equation because there exists and equals there are variables. We have something to solve. Two what's are ten. So you'll know that straight away. It's five. Okay, but we are doing this by applying inverse operation. We're investing, right? This skill we're investing this time. We are training for later on. Right, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. That's known as the multiplicative inverse. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. We spoke already about that. 1 not needed to be there. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, that's a balanced equation. That still represents the same thing. Okay, so let's generalise that then. Ax equals b. So what's happened to x? So when x on its own, it's been multiplied by a. The multiplicative inverse is division. Whatever we do to the left hand side, we must do to the right hand side to keep it balanced. a divided by a in the same way that 2 divided by 2 is 1. We don't write that 1. It's x. So b divided by a. Okay. Now you'll have completed questions already where it's been written, right, in this form. Okay. If you haven't, then please go back and complete some of those questions. So we will not write this like that, okay. We will not do that. We will write it as a fraction. Okay, so let's just say from just now that I'm not going to do that, right? Okay, so we'll just put a line through it, let's put a line through it, I'm not doing that. Okay, right, what if it's not A and B? I think by convention we just choose the first few letters in the alphabet, we avoid certain ones so that they're not misinterpreted as something else. So what if it was D? Right, and let's just say it was y, okay. Now we're solving for x, right, we're changing the subject to x. We'll do some videos later on where we're solving for different letters. Okay, so what's happening to x? It's been multiplied by d, right, the multiplicative inverse is division. What we do to the left hand side, we must also do to the right hand side d divided by d is 1, we're not going to write that one. y divided by d, we're not going to write it like this, we're going to write it as a fraction. Okay, so there we go. There's a generalisation of this exercise that you've done there. Okay, thanks for watching.